Hi friends and welcome back to the control engineering gig. Throughout this video we are going to learn how to model a DC motor using an example. Before jump into the modeling stuff, let's learn about little bit about DC motors. So DC motors are very common devices or actuators used in a different type of controls uh, systems. It can provide the rotational and translation motions. A simple sketch of a DC motor you can see it here. The DC motor usually consists of a bearing and a housing and bearings. There is a starter. This is the starter here. These starters could be permanent, magnetic, or electro uh, magnetic or electro actuated magnetics. We have a rotor or called the armature. We have a commutator and we have brushes. So basically, if we supply current through the brushes to the armature, the armature will generate a magnetic field that works against the magnetic field that coming from the starter and these two magnetic fields will provide or generate rotation or torque in the armature. If we want to revise the armature uh, rotational uh, direction, we simply can uh, do that by uh, revise the direction of the current that is provided to the armature. DC motors uh, have usually two equations. These equations that uh, relate the developed torque in the armature to the current that passed through that armature through these simple equations. Torque equal to some constant multiplied by the armature current and the generated uh, EMF or the back electromotive force that is generated because of the rotational speed of the motor. These two quantities can be related through this simple equation. The EM generated EMF equals some constant multiplied by the angular velocity of the DC motor. So we have these two relationships accordingly with the uh, electrical and mechanical part of the DC motor. As we can see in the next slide, we can fully describe uh, or model a DC DC motor. So usually, DC motor are uh, modeled by two parts: mechanic electrical parts. As you can see here, we have uh, the supply voltage, we have the armature uh, resistance and uh, armature inductor, and we have the EMF that is uh, caused by the angular uh, velocity of the uh, DC motor shaft. And we have the mechanical part, which is basically a disc that has some inertia. The disc has uh, some resistance that coming from the viscosity uh, in the bearings. And we have, of course, the torque that is applied by the armature, which equals uh, or related to the current that passes through the armature. Okay, let's do some simple example. We have an example here. We, th through this example, we want to relate or find the transfer function between the input voltage to the displacement of this block M. So this block M is connected to the DC motor. This is this part also all is the DC motor and it is connected to the uh, block the block M through some rope. The, this rope is represented by spring and a damper. So let's start with the electrical part. For the electrical part, I will give some link in the description to how model uh, electrical uh, circuits for controls. So there are some steps involved. So the first step is to identify the current direction in the loop. We have single loop here, so we have single uh, <coughs> current, which is a sub, uh, I sub A. This current passes through the armature, uh, which has a resistance and inductivity inductor so since we have one inductor here we have one state which is the current that passes through this inductor so we are expected to have one relationship from here so this relationship basically can be developed by the Kirchhoff voltage law so starting from a point let's say this is point A we can write the Kirchhoff voltage law here so uh, starting from A the voltage across the resistance through the inductor and the EMF 
all of these uh, are resisting the main voltage, which is Vn. So, so this is the equation here. Go back to uh, the electric circuits and the characteristics of the DC motor. We can uh, put values or uh, express values for the voltage across the inductor. And this EMF has, you can see it here. So we have Vn minus the resistance uh, voltage minus the voltage across the inductor minus the EMF, which is related to the motor display, uh, angular velocity. This is the first relationship. The, the second relationship coming from the mechanical part. So in the mechanical part, we have the angular displacement of the motor and the translational displacement of the block diagram. So we have two states here. We have the theta m, we have the x. Since there is no kinematic relationship between these two states, uh, therefore we have two degree of freedom. This will uh, make us to expect to have two relationships or to drive two relationships for the mechanical part. So in total, we have one state in the electrical part and two degree of freedom in the mechanical part. So in total, we need to have three equations or three differential equations. We drove, we, do, we have driven the first relationship from the Kirchhoff law, voltage law. We need to apply Newton second law to find the, the last two relations. The states are just uh, the <coughs> derivative of these states here. We have the angular, we have the displacement, angular displacement, angular velocity, angular acceleration. Same with the x in the transition or uh, translation motion of the mass m. Let's assume that the mass has uh, a displacement that is larger than the displacement from. So let's assume that the block diagram here uh, is traveling uh, with a distance that is larger than the distance, uh, the, angle, the, the translation distance of the uh, shift of the motor. This, according to this, we can write the equations. So starting with the free body diagram for the DC motor shift here, where we have the applied torque, the resistant viscosity, the direction of the motor, which is the same direction of the torque. And we have these two forces that are coming from the spring and the damper. The direction of this spring and damper forces is according to this assumption here. So apply the second uh, law of uh, Newton in the angular form. We can write this form here. We have the inertia force, uh, which is uh, equal to the resistance force and the uh, torque of the uh, force, uh, spring and damper force. And we don't forget the torque that is coming from the motor. Okay, the spring force and the damper force is written uh, are written by this form here and we have this final relationship this is coming from the equations of the DC motor introduce all of these in this equation we can have this final dynamic uh, this describes the dynamic of the shift we need another dynamic or another uh, equations which is from coming from the block M as we did with the shift, we need to have the free body diagram of the block. We apply second law of Newton and we can write the uh, force equation here. Okay. So far, uh, we have one state that is coming from the electrical part of the DC motor and two degree of freedom uh, in the mechanical part. So we have three relationships here. As we expected previously, uh, these relationships can be used to find the transfer function between the input voltage and the displacement of the block. We can do this simply first by taking the Laplace transform using or assuming zero initial conditions, as you can see here, and then uh, manipulate these systems uh, of equations to find the relationship between Vn and x of s this is done by first from six we can have uh, theta of m as uh, expression 
or as a term of x of s and we can substitute this result into 4 and with some arrangements we can have a relationship between the applied current in the armature to the displacement x as you can see here okay uh, finally we can introduce this relationship uh, uh, with the first relationship into uh, equation number four and we can simply uh, write the final form in the ratio form between the displacement which is the output of the system and the voltage vn which is the input to the system in very in this very simple form here so this video explained or illustrate how to model a DC uh, or how to impend the model of a DC a motor into a mechanical system. Okay, you can imagine other applications of DC motor and use uh, this uh, the relationships in this video uh, as a step or as a basic to model a DC motor in other systems.